Canada had a much improved game over Wales this past Friday night, holding two leads over the Welsh before going down 34-13. Coach Kieran Crowley was preparing his charges for this Saturday's fourth test in as many weeks, this one against Scotland in Aberdeen. He admits that no coach likes to lose, but he has seen a lot to be happy about over the match against Ireland just two weeks ago. Yeah, we improved in a lot of areas, Doug, so that, that was, from a coaching point of view, pretty pleasing. Um, you know, like you say, it, it, it is a test match, and, and, we're, and, you know, we lost a test match. Um, so, you know, it was, there was a lot of pleasing aspects and that we improved in a lot of areas. You know, we still didn't uh, play a lot of rugby as far as, you know, making opportunities and that, which is an area, you know, we, we did create a couple, to be fair, and, you know, at, at that sort of level, you only get a couple and you've got to be able to take those ones. So, yeah, big progress, you know, a lot of, lot of progress, like you say, but there's still, you know, a lot of room for improvement too. Now Scotland, uh, I think, was always a team on the schedule. They thought if we, everything goes right, the perfect storm of uh, circumstance, they might be a team that Canada can beat. But the, the one side is four weeks of preparation, that's great, but the boys are tired too, so how do you keep them interested and fresh in that fourth week? Oh, they're always interested, I think. It's um, just, yeah, like you say, you know, when you're playing at this level, you get knocked around pretty badly, so it's a case of managing uh, some of them through this week. Uh, and, you know, there's five, four or five of them that have uh, had a big workload over the last two weeks, and and um, so, you know, they're feeling a couple of uh, knocks and that, so it'll be a case of managing them. Um, so the interest factor is always there. I mean, it's a, it, is a, it is a test match and, you know, you're playing for Canada, so it's, uh, it's not, a, not a problem on that front. And uh, looking at uh, bringing Scott Franklin into the final week, you know, one player that hasn't been on the tour the whole time, but he, he seems to be one of those guys that will slot right in, no problem. Oh, yeah, he will be. I mean, he's been in the Canadian uh, set-up before. He, you know, uh, the, he was with us for Churchill Cup. He was very, very disappointed in missing out on this tour. Uh, told him some areas he needed to improve on. Um, from the feedback we've got is that he, he certainly did that, you know, his efforts at training today were, were very good and, you know, it's a critical position, that front row position and, and um, you know, he, he'll, he'll slot right back in there and, you know, he'll work hard during the week and, and we'll see what sort of part he plays in the game on Saturday. And uh, looking at the weather, it's a bit more conducive to uh, some of the Canadian boys and the cold and things like that. Would you like to see it warm up for Saturday or, or get colder and give us maybe an edge? Oh, no, I think, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing a hard, dry ground, actually. You know, uh, we can play some constructive rugby sometimes when it's not so uh, not so much like that. You know, it becomes a bit of a dogfight. But, uh, you know, whatever is on the offering, we've, you take it because that's what both teams have got to deal with. So uh, we'll, we'll prepare accordingly, you know, we'll, and do our work. And, and then what, what's thrown at us on Saturday is what we've got to handle. And when you were planning this tour back uh, in the summertime, even looking at it, uh, versus how it's actually gone, uh, if you're being honest with yourself, has it gone better, worse, about what you expected? How would you grade all that? Oh, we made, we've made some progress in, in areas, I think. You know, we are um, showing that we can compete. I mean, the, the Ireland game was a bit of a step back, but I think we learned a lot of lessons from that game. And, and so we've made progress. You know, this, uh, this week we'll, we'll tend to tend to show the exact uh, outcomes of the tour, I think, because, you know, it's the game now has got so physically draining, but also so mentally, you know, mentally draining. And, you know, the guys put a lot of work in the last week mentally. It'll be a big challenge for them to get back up again this week, and, and that's our job as coaches to, to get them back up. And, and hopefully, you know, come uh, Saturday night when it's all over, we can look back and say, yes, we have made a, made a big progress here, because I think we are, and, and some of the guys' um, school level and things like that, but we've just got to be able to show it on the pitch now. I'll have a good final week. Yeah, cheers, Doug. Thanks for that. I think you've been outstanding too. You know, you've been doing some really good interviews. and, and MVP, yeah. <laughs> and I even saw you getting a bit itchy about trying to run out on the field at one stage. <laughs> Thanks. In Edinburgh, Doug Cross reporting.